Hi everyone. So as we mark Mental Health Day, it's particularly important to talk about all the many difficulties we've all been through over the last 18 months. For so many people, the lockdowns were incredibly isolating and really took their toll on people's mental health and well-being. So I'm supporting the Seek Helpline. It's a fantastic West Bromwich based charity that provides support not just to the Seek community, but beyond that. I've seen firsthand the fantastic work Gianni G and his team do in supporting the community across the country. Recently, they held a gruelling Edinburgh to Birmingham bike ride to help raise funds for their helpline. And it was a pleasure to raise this in the House of Commons chamber and for them to receive support from the Prime Minister too. So, for Mental Health Awareness Day, never forget that if you need to talk, there is always someone on the other end of the phone. Mental health, like physical health, needs care. You and your community are your best doctor. Community could be close family, work colleagues, they spend several hours a day with you. There is no written solution. Rather a change to the way you live, think, feel, mostly small changes, some big, but very necessary. You're not alone. Me um, mental is illness is when um, it could affect your mood or your emotions or how you behave or you might like um, get in fights with your family or like feel really depressed and if you and if I met someone if that was having this problem I would go and help them. Many of us have struggled to maintain our mental health during the pandemic. Luckily, Samwell is absolutely full of positive community groups and projects that are there to support people and support their well-being. And the Seek Helpline is one of those. They help people at the lowest point. They improve lives and sometimes even save lives. So thank you to everyone involved in the Seek Helpline for everything you do. Sunday 10th of October is World Mental Health Day. I think mental health means something different to all of us and it all depends on our own take. But for me, my mental health is just as important as my physical health and I try to look after my mental health just as I would my physical health. Here at the Seek Outline, we are here to support anybody who is struggling with their mental health. We are a counselling and advisory service by email and telephone. You can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week and speak to somebody about how you're feeling. We support in lots of ways to help people with their mental health who might be struggling. So we are here if you want to reach out and talk about your mental health and what it means to you. I think from... Uh... When I first made contact, mm -hmm. my condition was quite severe mm -hmm. um, in my immune system and my mental health. Uh, over a number of weeks, maybe five or six weeks, mm -hmm. I think my condition uh, has improved a lot. Mm -hmm. My confidence has improved a lot. Good, yeah. And uh, some of the techniques that uh, they suggested mm -hmm. in being positive, mm -hmm. uh, confident, mm -hmm. and be able to sort of go out and talk to people mm -hmm. uh, outside as well as the Seek Helpline mm -hmm. has helped me build uh, my uh, confidence tremendously. Oh, that's Hello, my name's Amajit and we're here to talk about mental health. Mental health, there are seven billion people on this planet today that will go through mental health, whether it's illness, corona, anything. But I've realized more and more with my mental health bipolar, that the last few years, thankfully, people are now coming out, they're talking, they're not afraid of saying, look, you know, I've got panic, depression, anxiety, whatever, domestic violence, or I'm suffering, and I need to talk to somebody, or be with somebody, or I wanna be referred. And, you know, there are so many organizations and helplines if you need anything in that area, don't be, don't be afraid to pick up the phone. Ring Sukkasing on Seek Helpline. But remember that only you can help yourself. Nobody can come knocking on your door until you tell them to. Tell them what you are going through and tell them and be honest with it. Don't lie and think, oh, I feel embarrassed about this. 
Yeah, a lot of things are embarrassing. I talk to my psychiatrist and she's given me um, crutches to lean on and mechanism, you know, self-help mechanisms that when you're in this environment, deal with it this way. For instance, I lose my temper very quickly. She says, just leave it, walk away, and then go back to it in your mind. And when you meet that person or that environment, say, look, I need to talk to you about this. I'm not happy the way you treated me. Mental health is when people get emotions and scared and like you those never like get away easily from my mind. I will try to understand and I will try, try to help them. Mental health is something that impacts all of us. But it's important to understand what mental health is. According to Gurmat, mental health is some talk. When we feel content, that is mental health. Depression, anxiety, stress, irritation, and everything else that gives us a level of distress is simply a feedback mechanism. It's not necessarily that there's something wrong with you. It's just that feedback mechanism that's telling us that we need to take some actions in order to ensure that we can restore our mental health. So what is the one thing that will work with mental health? Meditation. Meditation taught by the right individual in the right way. Why Guruji Ka Khalsa? Why Guruji Ki Fudai? We've all been through so much during this pandemic. The world has shrunk, pressures have increased, and unsurprisingly more and more of us are suffering from issues such as anxiety and depression. The UK Centre for Mental Health estimates that 10 million people are going to be in need of support over the next three to five years. This could be the opportunity for the Asian community, who has traditionally avoided such services, to finally engage with them. It's time we changed that. It's time we broke the cultural stigmas and reached out. Reach out to organizations like the Sec Helpline, who are there not only to listen, but understand the cultural context of the challenges that we face. Let's stop suffering in silence. Let's reach out for that help. And together, let's break the stigma around mental health. Why Gruji Ka Khalsa? Why Gruji Gifate? My name's Arpal Singh, and I'm a counseling services manager for the NHS. I'm author of the book called The First Lap, which looks at mental health for the Asian community who suffer from domestic violence. I'm also a civil advisor for Seek Helpline. Over the years, I've helped a number of people through their emotions, their thoughts and feelings, anxiety, depression, amongst others. And a lot of people have changed and worked on. But then you get some people who are scared, frightened of seeking mental health support, or the word mental health scares people. The stigma attached to it, what people are going to say, what my friends are going to say, what my family are going to say. But working on your mental health is as important as your physical health. If you're physically struggling, you will see a professional. So when you're struggling mentally, why don't you seek a professional? Hiding away from the issue is not going to resolve it. It's about talking it through. Counselling can't change your past. They can help solve the issues and make sure that you can work with them in the future. My urge to everyone is to seek the support. Don't suffer in silence. Why Gruji Ka Khalsa? Why Gruji Ki Fateh? Hello everybody. This is just a small message from myself, Sandam Singh, about mental health. It's a massive, massive topic that not many people are talking about, especially men. They're taking steps where some people are even going to the lengths of taking their own life. Some people are sitting there and in depression, worried about how they will look, how, you know, what people will say to them if they ever opened up or spoke about something that they're going through. It's a very delicate topic and it's also a very delicate matter that people really need to start waking up and understanding that it's not just oh, it's okay, it's, you know, they're just going through a small phase. They're not. People are going through mental illness and are afraid to speak, but they shouldn't be. They should be able to speak to a friend, a loved one, somebody who they can trust. And again, if there's not somebody you can reach out to, there's organisations like the Seek Helpline, who they'll have trained professionals, mental health experts to sit there and listen to what you have to say and give you the right support and point you in the right direction. We need to wake up and understand as a, as a society as whole, not just as Sikhs, but just as a society as whole, 
not to ridicule somebody for the way they feel. Sometimes, especially in men, you know, you're ridiculed, oh, you're not manly enough, you're not this, you're not that, oh, look at him, he's weak. I think you're probably more weak if you don't talk about it. I think you're more weak if you are the person ridiculing somebody who's suffering, especially when people have gone to steps and lengths of self-harming and even taking their life. That's not something that you need to be ridiculed. That's not something that should be taken lightly. Remember, support some people, support somebody, let them know you're there to care. And if you are somebody who's going through depression or mental illness, remember, there is somebody out there you can speak to and see Calpline's one of them. I hope this resonates. I hope this helps. And just remember, we are here to help. Mental health include our emotional, psychological and social well-being. It affects how we think, how we feel, how we act. It also helps to determine how we handle stress, relate to others or make choices. Now mental health is something that we all need to talk about. And we need to take the stigma away from it. So let's raise the awareness of mental health. Let's let everybody know it's okay to have mental illness or addiction problems. From the Seek Help Line 2021 and 2022, we are going to run a campaign. It's on mental health and suicide prevention project. To bring the awareness in the community, I feel personally community plays a very important role in helping those people who are going through mental health. And I hope we all can work together and raise the awareness of mental health. Vaheguruji ka khalsa, Vaheguruji ki fateh. I think uh, I would urge anybody who's having any sort of difficulty mm -hmm. in their life, mm -hmm. and we all come through, we all go through difficult times, mm -hmm. and sometimes we just do not know mm -hmm. where to turn to. Mm -hmm. I urge anybody who needs any help in any sector, whether it's to do with mental health, mm -hmm. uh, abuse, finance, mm -hmm. or any other crisis that might happen domestically, mm -hmm. I urge them strongly and not to be afraid mm -hmm. uh, to pick up that phone mm -hmm. and uh, seek for, seek support. Uh, I believe that you will benefit tremendously from uh, the Seek Helpline. Please don't hesitate, don't worry, don't fear, mm -hmm. don't think you're being judged. Mm -hmm. uh, don't be self-conscious that you can't make this call. Mm -hmm. Just pick up the phone mm -hmm. and somebody's there ready to hold your hand and guide you and help you through your difficult times. Oh, thank you very much, really appreciate it. Wai Gujika Khalsa, Wai Gujiki Fateh, marking World Mental Health Day. We ask ourselves, what is good mental health? Are you looking after your mind, body and soul by practicing physical movement, inspiration, meditation, gratitude and good sleep? It's important to look after your mental health. You're not alone reach out to us, the Seek Helpline. We're here to help with mental, emotional and well-being support. Please contact us on 7 999 We're also available across social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Please get in touch if you need help. You're not alone. Look after yourself. Mm -hmm.